In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can add your Instagram feed to a Wix website. I'll also demonstrate how you can customize the layout and appearance of your Instagram feed after you add it to your Wix website. All right, now the first thing that you'll want to do is navigate to the page that you would like to add your Instagram feed to. Next, you want to place your cursor in the sidebar and you wanna click on the Add Apps button. This will bring up the Wix app market. Next, you want to place your cursor in the search field and search for Instagram. And you want to go ahead and select this option here, Instagram feed. Now, the reason that I recommend using this app is that this was actually developed and published by Wix, as you can see here. Next, click on add to site. And you can see here that it has added an Instagram feed to this page. Now, the next thing that you'll need to do is connect your Instagram account to this app. To do that, you want to click the app and then click on the settings button. Now, you can see here that this brings up the Instagram feed settings menu. Now, you have two options here depending on what type of Instagram account you have. If you have an Instagram business account, then you want to select this option and you'll notice that you'll be prompted to log in using Facebook. Otherwise, you just want to select this option here that reads connect personal account. Now you can see here that I'm being prompted to give Wix permission to access my Instagram account. Now I've already done this before and so you can see the message reads that I previously connected Wix to my account. If you're doing this for the first time, you're going to be prompted to put in your username and your password and log in to Instagram and then you'll be prompted to grant Wix permission similar to what you're seeing here on the screen. I'll go ahead and click allow and I'll close the Instagram feed menu and you can see here that I've now successfully connected my Instagram account to this Instagram feed app. And you can see that my posts are now being displayed on this app. All right, now you can see here that I am previewing my site and the default layout for the Instagram feed app is this grid format. Now you can see here that I had to click this load more button to display additional posts. You can also see that as I hover over each of these posts, it's going to display some of the caption. And if I click into one of these posts, then it will bring up this card view where you can see the actual Instagram content and the description. Now, fortunately, you can customize this app pretty significantly to meet your specific needs. Now, to do that, you want to click on the widget and then you want to click on the settings button. And then you want to click on the layout menu option. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is that you can choose from one of three different layouts. Now, again, the default is the grid layout, but you can also switch to a slider. And you can see that the slider is just a single bar of posts with these slider buttons on the left and the right. And you can just click to scroll through the different posts. And you also have the option to set your Instagram feed to a collage. Now you can see here that the collage view will display the posts in a collage format and you can also change the size of the posts so that it will automatically update and display more posts in a smaller amount of space. Now it's really important to note that each layout has its own unique properties that you can customize. Now you'll notice I've switched back to the grid layout and you can see here that I can change the number of rows of posts that will display by default before a user has to click on the load more button. So if I go ahead and change this to four, you can see here that it now displays four rows of posts from my IG feed. I can also add or remove additional columns and you can see here as I do this, it will automatically scale the posts to fit the available space. You can change the image ratio so you can select widescreen or just leave it as sort of your square format here. And you also have the ability to change things like the post spacing, gallery padding, and you can even turn off that load more button if you want so that it will automatically display all of your posts. Now you'll notice you can even revert this to the original design and it will just set it back to the default setting. Now, if you're finding this video helpful, you may also want to check out my free PDF guide that outlines the top five apps that you should be using with your Wix website. I've included a link in the description of this video below where you can go ahead and download that file, or you can just click that card in the upper right hand corner of your screen.
All right, now you can see here I've switched back to the slider. And in terms of the options for the slider, you can configure the number of columns that you want to display on your slider. And I can see here as I change it, additional columns are added. You can also change the spacing between the actual posts themselves. You can increase it, reduce it. You can change the gallery padding here. And that's just going to increase or decrease the amount of space between the posts and the boundaries of the widget. And you can also turn on endless scroll, meaning that users will never hit an end when they are clicking on the left or right navigation arrows. And you can see that I'm now displaying the collage layout. And as we saw earlier in the video, you can change the actual size of the post and that will update the view in the collage. You also have the same options as the other two layouts. And you'll have one additional option here, and that is the group of posts per click. Now you can see here as I hover over the tooltip, this is a group of posts that will load each time a user clicks on the load more button. All right, now we'll do a quick walkthrough of some of the other options that you have in terms of customizing your Instagram feed. Now I'll click on the display menu option. Now you'll notice here that there are options around configuring your profile. And if I hover over the tooltip, you can see here, it says that I could display my profile and customize the info, but I would need a business account. Now that aligns with what is displayed on the main menu option. You can see here this prompt that reads, in order to access additional customization settings, you will need to have a business Instagram profile. Next, I'll click on the settings menu option and you have the ability to change the language that the app displays in. And you can see here under general settings, you can choose what happens when a user clicks on a post, but you do only have a few options. You can expand it to full screen. You can link out to Instagram directly, or you can just set it that nothing happens. You also have the ability to turn off hover on post. Now, again, in terms of what this does is this is going to actually display that expanded card view where it will show the caption, comments, the number of likes, etc. And you can change the direction of the app from right to left or left to right, which is a minor and subtle cosmetic change. Next, in the text menu option, what this does is it allows you to customize the text that is displayed on the load more button. Now, to do that, you want to click into this field here and you want to update the text. Now you can see here I've changed the text to read see more posts and you can see here that that updated the actual button at the bottom of the app. And you have this design menu option here. And what this option does is it gives you the ability to customize the appearance of each of these different elements at a very granular level. Now I will click into the posts submenu and you can see here that you can change things like the opacity and color you can change the actual hover font, the text icon and color. You can add effects. You can change corner radius. You can zoom, etc. So this app is very good for giving you a very granular level of control over the actual appearance of the various elements of the app. Now, I won't go through these in detail, but I will quickly show you one last option, and that is the expand mode. Now, if I click into this, what the expand mode is, is that expanded card view when a user clicks on one of your posts. So you also have the ability here to change the appearance of the card elements. And what's really cool is you can see here, you can hide or show the actual post caption and the date timestamp that is featured on the post here just under your Instagram account. Now I'll scroll down here. And again, you can see you do have the option to change things like the design the text, the colors, etc. All right, now one of the most important features with this Wix Instagram feed app is the ability to add links to your post. Now to do this, you wanna click on the app and then click on the manage links button. Next, you want to select the post that you would like to add a link to. I will select this Wix post here. And next you wanna click on add link. Now you can see here you have two options. You can either link out to a page on your website to do this, you want to select the page option and then you want to select which page you would like to link to. Now you can also add a description by clicking into this field and updating the text. And you can also change the button text to display anything that you would like. Now, if you do want to link out to an external website, you wanna select this web address option. 
and then you want to paste in the URL. Now I'll go ahead and paste a URL to my YouTube tutorial that corresponds to this Instagram post. And you can see here that it will display the thumbnail. You can change this if you would like. You can see here it will automatically populate a title. You can edit this just by clicking into this field. You can also choose whether you want the link to open in a new window or the current window. Now, once you finish configuring this link, you want to press the save button. And you can see here that the link was added. Now, you'll also notice that you have the ability to add up to three links. And to do that, again, you just want to click on add link and follow the steps that I just walked you through. So that's it. In this tutorial, I demonstrated how you can add your Instagram feed to a Wix website. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe and be sure to smash that like button below. I'll see you in the next video.